one's getting mangled. Is it? Five. Got it there, Jean, at the back. Right, right, we're live, everybody. Here we go. And we have another crossing. Topi, this time in serious trouble. Two of them gone to two of the behemoths of the deep that live here at Kildasak Crossing. This is a stupid crossing place for any animal to go for because it is so deep. And it therefore makes it extremely difficult for these animals to push themselves off the ground. And that topi, I'm afraid, is tickets. <laughs> Absolutely astounding stuff. A giant herd of topi and zebra and, in fact, about 10 or 20 wildebeest came down to cross. More zebra coming down now. Terrible sound. Sorry about the sound, everybody. I hope you can hear me now. Now, will these zebras fool hardily and inconsiderately jump across the water again? This, to my mind, is one of the most silly crossings. If you did miss us a little bit earlier, we watched a spectacular crossing at one of the much more shallow points. You can see the topi there being torn up. Those crocodiles are doing their typical roll. They have no way to chew or move their jaws from side to side, and so they roll with their jaws clamped shut, and that tears their prey apart. And obviously it helps if there are a few of them there. Quite stunning stuff. Not if you're a topi, of course. Then it's been a particularly bad day. Just a hoof sticking out there. Let's see if we can't go back and have a look at what's going on with the zebra. And we'll go back towards that flapping, flapping reptile already eating it. Now, I mean, you will read, of course, look at these zebra. Excuse me, I'll get back to that thought now. But these zebra are clearly not learning from their friends. There are the crocodiles, these chaps deciding that this is a good place to have a drink. Quite bizarre that they should be thinking that. Anyway, let's watch them carefully. And I'll tell you that there is a misconception of thoughts of sorts that crocodiles only eat rotting meat that they will store their carcasses under a rock until it rots and then eat here goes a particularly stupid equid about to get flattened no there it is it's all right good but here clearly during the migration while they might store food under rocks in the deeper water it's actually been very interesting to watch them eat fresh carcasses and I suspect because there are enough of them to tear the carcasses into pieces they can then swallow what they have to. They cannot chew, remember that. They can but open their jaws very weakly and then slam them shut with an astonishing force of I believe some 3,800 pounds per square inch. That is obviously a fairly meaningless statistic because, well, you're not really... And apparently ours is 200 pounds per square inch, so now you can get an idea of how much more powerful the crocodile's bite is. Suffice it to say, were you to leap out of the water and grab that wildebeest with your mouth, it would probably get away. Right, we'll just see what happens here. And there's Zebra finally caught on to the fact that this is a stupid place to be in the water, one of them still thinking, oh, come on, let's give it a go. How bad could it be? The answer, of course, is very bad indeed. The worst kind of bad. James, you're wondering how big these crocodiles are. I think some of them probably weigh in excess of about 1,000 kilograms, 2,200 pounds.